Hello and welcome to Business 360. I'm Ritu Singh and here are the headlines that we're tracking this evening. The sell-off in Adani stocks resumes after MSCI announces a review of its free float status. The founder of Hindenburg says MSCI's statement validates their claims and are the jewel for Adani Group as France's total puts its proposed $50 billion hydrogen joint venture on hold pending an independent audit. State GST officials inspect one of Adani Vilmar's warehouses in Himachal Pradesh. The company says it was a routine inspection and also claims to not have any liability under the input tax credit rule. Prime Minister Modi accuses the Congress party of spinning conspiracy theories, says the nation stands with us in the Rajya Sabha amid constant sloganeering. Uh, opposition parties continue to protest, demanding a parliamentary panel probe into the Adani controversy. Sensex and Nifty end a volatile session on the last street with minor gains. IT stocks lead with gains, but metal stocks slide. Rupee remains on a tight leash against the dollar. The centre is firm about the market borrowing target of close to 12 lakh crore rupees for the next fiscal. A government official tells CNBC TV18 that expanded senior citizen small savings scheme will help the centre bridge the revenue gap. The government is expecting an additional 75,000 crore mop-up from that scheme alone. The death toll in the aftermath of the Turkey-Syria earthquake crosses 16,000 as rescue operations enter the fourth day. Syrian media reports that close to 3 lakh people have been forced to leave their homes. The first humanitarian convoy reached the rebel stronghold of northwest Syria this today. Alphabet shares tumble after its chatbot Bard answers a question wrong at a Google promotional event. $100 billion in market capitalization gets wiped out as the battle for supremacy in artificial intelligence with Microsoft heats up. Disney announces 7,000 job cuts after its streaming service reports the first fall in subscribers. The layoffs are part of a larger restructuring plan aimed at saving more than $5 billion in cost. Now, before we get